Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It's raining for the first time in days. Um, we're supposed to be hanging out at the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian and stuff, but it's uh. <laughs> I can't even... Where did this come from? I don't know, but I think it's almost over. Yeah, it's like bright out. Yeah, it's bright over there, and that's where it's gonna. We actually have an umbrella though. We do. Should we leave? I think so. Update: It's hailing. Ice. I didn't, like, have we ever seen hell in Florida before? Uh, once or twice. <laughs> Casually, Peter is <laughs> getting in the back I'm seat. I'm trying to, I'm opening up the back seat to see if we have another umbrella in the trunk because I want to leave. It's for real hailing. Um, <laughs> listen to the hail. When we got in the car, it was 100 degrees. It is now 69. This is quite ridiculous. There's the sun. All right, we're gonna venture out. It's pretty sunny and it's lightened up. There's little hail. Um, but Peter's gonna go out the back door and come get me with the umbrella. I don't even have shoes on right now. <laughs> They're in the bag. <laughs> oh gosh. It feels great out now. <laughs> yeah, because it's dropped 30 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how puddly it is. Well, I'd say it was uh, pretty, good, pretty successful. My hair is dry, so We're, that's pretty good. Your feet are all soaked, but yeah. besides that, and I cut my flip flops off until we got in. Yeah. So I'm fairly dry. My shoes are good in the rain, these ones. Um, I wanted to go to the Grand Floridian trying. first, but we'll hang out here a little bit. We do want to get over there before 8.20 because the last piano player is there, but I'm sure it'll stop raining before then. But and we time... can take the monorail and not even go outside? Yeah, if, but I want to walk, walk kind of, but as long as the okay. rain stops. But first oh, we so got to do... Oh, so joining us, so we have to wait for her here yeah. and then we'll go. And in the meantime, we're going to do some Earhart shopping, aka look at all the tiki, tiki, tiki stuff at the Polynesian gift shop. Hold on, I don't think I've ever seen this Jim Shore before, and it is amazing. I wonder if they have all the main birds, because this is just Jose. But I, even though we're like with our whole minimalist thing, I'd get this. Earhart's, I think you need this for your basement. Well, I know what I love about the magic of Disney is that even that it was just hailing and it's still raining right now, this lobby is full of hundreds of guests. I don't see a single upset child or upset parents or upset anybody. Everyone's smiling, just even the ones that are most soaked, they're just kind of laughing it off because it was kind of silly. It's just vacation. So. so I love this place so much. Look. Look who made it safely through the storm. And just like that, look at that. Not even 35, 40 minutes tops later. It's not even raining and the sun is out. Are you okay? No. It was okay. crazy, like. And I wanted to go out there in the hail. <laughs> oh, souvenir. You should yeah. take it home. Put it on the top of my car. <laughs> If I were a rich man Oh yeah, this is a classic grand With a million or two orchestra. Can you do that I live in a penthouse To the room I'm stressing out because the pianist is supposed to be out in like three minutes And they're still going But if it was going to be any song that, that they would run over to, it would be this one Okay, the band's packing up They're packing up Where's the piano player? Where is he? I hope it's Wes. I haven't seen Wes in months. Okay, he doesn't even know what she's in for. I mean, I've seen it on your Instagram stories and on your vlogs like a hundred times. It's Wes, but never in person. Person in person is always better. For some reason, Wes, Wes was only out here 25 minutes and then he ducked out kind of fairly quickly. It is 8.45, but 
I hope he comes back. He was in a very classical mood. He only played one Disney song. A few moments later. Wait. Yeah. Wes is back. He's back. I don't know what's happening, but he's back. I knew that was too short. He's returned. He just asked me what song I want him to play. He's going to play the song from Up for me. Believe it was the paling earlier, and now there are kids swimming in the swimming pool. Swimming pool? Swimming pool. Swimming pool. We're gonna make our way over to the little boat dock to see if we can get a good spot. Hopefully, not too buggy. Of a uh, happily ever after. I almost said wishes. Here we are. I'm I'm hopeful that it's not gonna be buggy. And I just upped the ante. Sarah and I have always said that when IVF is successful, we're gonna celebrate by doing narcoozies. Like and a whole day at the Grand Floridian. Whole day at the Grand Floridian. So like breakfast, lunch, dinner. Narcoozies <laughs> and Citra Coast. And I just said we should add in there staying the night. So I think that's gonna happen. She wanted the spotlight. Hi everybody, I just wanna say I miss you so much and I miss Burkhardt's and that's pretty much it. <laughs> So we're back inside. Peter is getting changed as he's going running. We were gonna do like a full monorail loop today, but the contemporary was like evacuated for the fire alarm going off. But now I think it's fine. Yeah, we're, we're thinking about it, like just going on the monorail while Peter runs. It's only a 5K, like a three mile run. So it's not like we have like hours, um, but still maybe even just a monorail loop. Oh. Yeah, my shoes on still. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Katie came to Tambu Lounge and Stacy is on the TV. Best day ever. I don't know what it is, but she asked for a fun meal. And she got a fun I meal. know, it's fancy. <laughs> Strawberry mint. It's so good. Good? Mm -hmm. it's, it's awesome. Wow. Peter's getting in his sweaty body. <laughs> Katie got a new car. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> I don't know why that's on. <laughs> nice, I like it a lot. I like the seats, Aww. like they're closer. Oh yeah. And then that's cool, like the the feeling of the dashboard, like the... Oh yeah, it's like mini spaceship Earth. <laughs> I'm back from my run, if you couldn't tell. Mm -hmm. But I'm very sad because Sarah and I just realized that I was a fool and I left our really super nice umbrella from like it's five years ago. because like... We were gonna show it. It's actually three years old because we bought it on our very first vlogging vacation it's in 2016. The nicest umbrella we've ever owned. I'm gonna put in a clip from like when we got it. All right, we bought a Minnie Mouse umbrella. And we are gonna walk to the bus and try to have a, a nice evening at the resort. <laughs> Stop by Conch Plants. We don't have our resort mugs. But we're gonna try to <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hold it well. I didn't hold it well. I was trying to fix it. Sorry. Okay, maybe it was better lower. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The umbrella is really cute, though. It is a really cute umbrella. It's got a mini mouse right there, and lace, and polka dots, and basically everything Sarah likes. My everyday attire. And I'm actually gonna put a link to that whole like vlog playlist because I think you guys would really like it. Um, but I put it on the hook, like on the, on. I put it on the ropes at the end of the Grand Floridian Pier during the fireworks and I left it there. I even remember putting it on the hook being like, can't remember, if, I can't forget this umbrella here because it's like the best umbrella. It was like small, but big enough and the strongest and sturdiest and cutest Minnie Mouse design. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It was sorry. white with black polka dots, lace. And it wasn't cheap. Like, I think it was like 70 bucks. Uh-uh. 
It wasn't. It was more than 50. It is what it, it's just things, but Sarah's gonna put in a lost and found notice on the app and see if maybe someone turned it in. June 25th. Strong people don't put others down, they lift them up. Michael P. Watson. That time of the night again. We both have an early start because Sarah's going back to the acupuncturist tomorrow. And I need to get up tomorrow morning and do a six mile run. I slept in this morning, so I had to run tonight, which you saw. And it's always like bittersweet because I feel so good when I like oversleep or I wake up and I choose to go back to sleep and not run in the morning. But it's inevitable, like I have to do a back to back then to get yeah. back well, on the schedule. At least schedule. tonight was three. Like I know it's hard. Yeah, it was a humid but one. We'll but we'll do it. Get up early. We have to. Run the six. Hopefully it'll be before. Yes. And we're going straight out from work, right? So yeah. it'll be like a fun little day too. We have no idea. We don't have plans though. No. Eve is going into the kitchen like she thinks it's not bedtime or something. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.